WRTV Streaming News is sponsored by Tom Wood Group. I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. Indianapolis is the center of the country's search for solutions to gun violence. Over the next few days, law enforcement, prosecutors and community leaders from across the country are all here in Indy. They are discussing strategies that are working to address violent crime. It is a federal summit. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland introduced the violent crime reduction map at the summit. It serves as a one stop shop to help local law enforcement agencies implement and develop strategies to prevent and respond to violent crime. What I would say is that there's always going to be more crime in the community than we can prosecute. So as prosecutors, job number one is always discretion. It's figuring out with the resources that we're given, and we could always use more resources. The map helps connect jurisdictions with information and resources they need to meet the challenges to reducing violent crime. A new effort is underway to help our neighbors experiencing homelessness. Center Township trustee LaDonna Freeman is launching her Faith in a Case on Wheels initiative. She's filling up suitcases with essentials like soap, toothpaste, lotion, and other items. And now she is going out with the goal to give out 10 suitcases a day to someone experiencing homelessness. I live close to downtown and I see a lot of the homeless out carrying trash bags with their clothes in them. So I would be at a stoplight, they would be walking across the street and the bag would break. So I would see how they would lose their items. And God gave me a vision years ago that putting items in a suitcase for, in a suitcase for the homeless would be beneficial to them. So as I became trustee, I, I remember the vision and I'm going to act on it. Well, Freeman says they do have a need for gently used suitcases on wheels and other essential items to put inside. You can drop off any donations at the Julia Carson Government Center that is located on Fall Creek Parkway.